Hey guys, what's up? This is Kerr. I want to start off by saying sorry it took so long to get the painting video up and running, uh, but it's here now. And yeah, pretty much in this entire video, I go through the painting process of the Indominus Rex inside of ZBrush. Enjoy! Okay, so here I am in Photoshop and I'm just painting an eye real quick. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time telling you the process that I went through. I did use an image of lightning that I colored red to get the idea of like veiny detail that's running through the eye. And here you can see I'm using the spotlight feature within ZBrush to project the paint onto the surface of the eyeball. And I go through a little bit of a headache to try to determine how I want the eye oriented. And plus, note to self in the future, uh, paint the eyes before posing <laughs> next time because uh, I had to paint each eye individually instead of being able to work symmetrically, which was kind of a pain in the butt to have to do that twice, but oh well. But I do like to paint asymmetrically to make sure that the paint detail doesn't look 100% uniform throughout. And I'm using a the Skin Shade 4, I believe it was, to uh, get my painting base going on. And going through and using different color variation, using a lot of browns and blues at first to lay down the base color. I like to use a layering approach with painting because uh, if you kind of paint one solid color, it ends up looking really flat. So using um, a layering approach really helps add some color variation as well as uh, using a color spray attachment to the brush and as well as an alpha really helps add some splotchy detail make the look makes it look like the paint is uh, much more integrated into the surface and here I'm going through and playing around with a couple different shaders to see how the paint looks from shader to shader and in the end when I get to rendering I'm probably gonna render out a couple different sh shader variations and composite the, composite them together inside of Photoshop really helps uh, get a custom look uh, much more than you can get with a single pass render from ZBrush or you could use a layered shader type approach but um, I don't know. I just kind of like compositing different shaders together inside of Photoshop. But I'll explain more about that when I get to that stage. So I, I'm using a lot of blues because looking at the photo reference, I, I see blue tints in the Indominus's paint job. And I got a good direction going here with this. And here, um, I'm painting a wound from where she clawed out her tracking implant in the movie. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And they find that chunk of skin before the entire asset containment unit gets eaten. Or at least just murdered by the Indominus. <laughs> And I'm painting as well as well as adding some rough texture to the claws because I never sculpted them. I realized that when I was uh, painting the model, I was like, oops, I never painted it. And I'm making the hands and claws a bit darker from the rest of the body since the Indominus could brace its body with its hands and claws. So I wanted to make them look a little bit dirtier, like they've been in the ground a lot more than the rest of the body. And just like you would expect, I'm painting the inside of the mouth this pinkish red to simulate like the color of gums. And there you see I added a cavity mask to be able to paint within all the all the different scales. And you can see it really makes those scale details pop. And I'm adding some slash uh, marks to the teeth to make it look like there's striations from maybe growth or 
uh, biting down into things to make them look like they're kind of cracked a little bit. I didn't want them to look too perfect, otherwise it ends up just looking kind of artificial. So these uh, markings on the teeth using uh, the that alpha that you see in the left hand corner there really helps add to that. Darkening the inside of the nostrils. Now for the little bony protrusions coming from its body. I wanted it to be pretty much the same color as the rest of the body with slight variations to them. Made them a little bit darker so they popped off the surface a little bit. It also helped made it look like there's like dirt and grime that's kind of caught uh, in between those pieces, or on those pieces, I should say. Uh, missed a few spots there, going back and getting those. And adding in some more darker details to the inside of the mouth there, because it was just looking a little bit too much red. Now taking the same type of approach with the membranes that connect the upper and lower jaw. Now for the tongue I use a toy plastic shader because it does a really good job of simula simulating like uh, wetness. And naturally since the tongue uh, sits in the inside of the mouth, naturally it's wet. It serves as a good uh, base shader. I probably will end up switching to like a layered shader to that because uh, I don't know, it just tends to look a little bit more premium that way. When it does come to the rendering stage, I probably will use some more sophisticated shaders than the skin shade that I'm using. It does look good, but there are significantly better shaders out there. Ones that might be able to simulate some subsurface scattering, things like that. If you don't know what subsurface scattering is, it's um, when you see light passing through the skin and you see kind of like the light reflection through the skin. I can't go overboard with it on this, but anyhow, that pretty much wraps up this video. Just going through and giving the model a once over to see if there's anything I might want to change. But I'm pretty satisfied with where that turned out for this video. Coming up in part six, I will add the environment using fiber mesh, as well as go through and add any final touches the model might need. And finally, I will take it into Photoshop to composite all the render layers together. Thank you for sticking with me through this video, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.